Hi, I'm Mark Soper, the Agency Director of Carolina Talent. Welcome to Carolina Talent's orientation class. People always ask me, why do you do an orientation? Well, the first thing is we want to make sure that all of our talent that we sign has every tool that they can to go in and either book the audition, book the photo shoot, or book the voiceover. So that's why we do orientation. One of the benefits we provide is we refine and guide your career. I want you to think of an apple. Think of the color of the apple, the size of the apple, the taste, the smell. How many of you thought of a red apple? How many of you thought of a green apple? How many thought of a yellow apple? How many thought of a rotten, moldy apple? Now the reason I ask that question is because you, as a talent, you already look at yourself as one of those apples. You're either the green apple, the red apple, the yellow apple. But the issue is the person you're going to see that day, as soon as you walk through that door, they know nothing about you. So they're going to automatically put you in a category that you may not be in. So that's what we do as an agency. We prep you to be whatever Apple it is that that client wants to see. So that's why we work with your pictures. We tell you what to wear the day of the audition or the go-see. We say, we want you to look like this. We want your hair like this. That's why we do that. We want to make sure that when you walk through that door, we're giving you every opportunity to look like what that client wants you to look like and make that decision to pick you to work. As we guide your career, we select your images, we figure out which is your best demo reel, what is the best thing for you to put on your resume, not have on your resume. We are there to refine and help you in your career. So let's talk about the do's and don'ts of what you should do with Carolina Talent. Here's some of the things that you should do. Do take an active part in your career by consulting with your agent and your booker on a weekly basis, making sure that you're both going for the same thing. Do inform us when there's a change in your personal information. Phone number, email, mailing address. Definitely mailing address. We mail out checks to the address we have on file for you. If you change your address, you need to email us that you've changed your address, and then you need to change it on the websites. Do keep your resume and websites updated. You should redo your websites and resumes every 30 days. Your resume should be done anytime you do something new. Add it to the resume. Do take care of yourself to include your hands, your feet, your hair. We have a lot of models that basically do what we call parts modeling. Hands, foot models, we've even had knee, eye, and nose models. So. Make sure your hands look good. Make sure your feet look good. Get pedicures, manicures, if you want to do something like this. Be sure to keep your look current and updated, especially my models. Models you should be shooting with photographers every three to four months if you can. Now, I don't want you to go out and pay for photo shoots every three to four months, but if you have the opportunity to shoot with a photographer, go shoot with them. The more pictures you can get, the more ways you can show how you can model, the better off your portfolio is gonna look. For my actors, you need to make sure that your headshot always looks like you. We don't want you going in and auditioning and the casting director go looking at your headshot and saying, well, wait, who, who is this? Always look like your headshot. Also, your demo reels need to be updated at least once a year. Always be current. Now for some of the don'ts. Don't contact a client directly for any reason, whether it's to say thank you, where's my pay, anything like that. That's why you have an agent. Think of it this way. If we had 10 people working on set and another agency had another 10 people and another agency had another 10 people, if all 30 of those people started calling that client, that would be too much. They only want to hear from the agent. So three agents versus 30 talent calling, that's why we say don't contact the client directly. Some other don'ts. Don't gripe or complain while on set. If there is something going wrong or there's something that you don't feel is right, call us. Call the agent. Let us be the bad guy. So let me give you an example of complaining on set. So I had three girls that went to do a bikini shoot. And all three girls showed up and one of the girls calls me. She says, Mark, there, there's no way that I can do this photo shoot. I'm not wearing that bikini. And I said, well, wait, wait, what? Tell, tell me what's going on. Explain to me why, why you're so upset. She said, well, Mark, one of the bathing suits that they want me to wear is a Confederate flag, and I'm just not going to do that. So I asked her, I said, well, did the client tell you that you had to wear that specific bikini? 
She said, no. I said, okay, let me make a phone call. I'll call you right back. So I called Joe. I said, hey, Joe, it's Mark. I'm just calling to make sure all the girls got there okay. And uh, just curious, do the girls, the bathing suits, does any girl have to wear a specific bathing suit? He said, no, I don't care who wears what bathing suit as long as I get a shot of all the ba bathing suits. I said, great. So I called the girl back. I said, see if one of the other girls will switch with you, which they did. Everything went fine. Now, imagine if she had decided to go to the client herself and said, hey, I'm not wearing this bathing suit. It's a Confederate flag, and I just don't feel like that's a good thing. She would have ruined her relationship with that person, that, that photographer, and possibly even lost the job. But this way, the client had no idea that there was any issue at all, and everything worked out fine, and everybody was happy. One other don't. Don't let your comp card, your headshots, your resume, website, demo reels get stale and outdated. This industry moves fast, and if you don't move with it, you won't get booked. Let me give you an example. We had a talent, we actually had three talent that were going to a photo shoot, okay? And three days prior, we asked all the talent, are your sizes correct on the website? Do we have your correct sizes? Please make sure and verify that everything we have is correct. All three of the talent said, yes, everything's good, everything's fine. So the day of the shoot, we get a call from the client. The client says, hey, um, so we asked you to make sure all the sizes were correct. Did you do that? We said, yeah, everybody verified. Here's the email saying, you know, everything was correct. Well, one of your talents showed up and his pant length was wrong. So we have to go out and buy new pants for him. I said, oh my God, what, what can we do to fix this? They said, no problem, we'll, we'll go ahead and take care of it today um, and we'll let you know how things go. So we thought everything was fine, but at the end of the day, the client called me and said, hey, so we did hire the three talent from you. We're gonna use the two that had all their sizes correct, but the person that didn't have their size correct, we're gonna go ahead and release him and we're gonna pick somebody else for the next two days. Now this job was a $1,500 a day job. So that talent, because he didn't have his pants size correct, just lost $3,000. Keep your size current. You should check it every 90 days. So some people say, well, how do I get my sizes or what do I do? Go to a department store. Tell them I need to be fitted for a suit or I'm going to a wedding and I need to be fitted. They will do all your sizes, you write them down. You can do this every 90 days and they won't get upset. Thank you.